today we are going to learn about uh, entity relationship model okay from the data builder so what exactly is this entity relationship model what sap is saying you can use an er model to better understand a subset of entities in your space and to communicate this information to other stakeholders it means it is kind of a data flow diagram what we we can create in a, in the data sphere using this we can able to understand the dependence between the, between the objects like tables and views okay how can we create by going to data builder clicking on this new entity relationship model i can create this one so here on the left side panel and the repository section i can see the tables and views information so i can drag and drop the tables here and create a relationship between one to you know create means i can display the relationship between and the objects okay here in the table section and view section we can see the already existing created tables okay uh, in our data sphere here we can drag and drop into our panel for example i can drag and drop my table into this panel then i can see you know what are the columns here this is an expanded view if you want to minimize this by clicking on this minus symbol you can collapse this one okay so what else we can do so after selecting this one if you want to add the dependent objects means which are created on top of it or before to see those you can click on this plus symbol then it will come you will get a pop up symbol so this particular a uh, table i am using in the association of my uh, sales table that's why it is showing the related entries so you can select it and it will come out into your diagram as i said it is a data flow diagram so what i am saying so this is the table and on top of this table there is a relationship between between the, uh, to the relationship to this uh, purchasing acquisition okay so like this and what are the other features we have in this uh, data flow from the data flow diagram in itself uh, we can manipulate these objects like you know if i want to add one extra column to this table sap is providing an option to add a column here so instead of going to the table directly and adding there and from the data flow itself uh, i can add it so if there is a requirement to add a new column in the data flow then you will easily come here and check your dependencies and uh, where and all you want to add this new column you can add it from the here directly so after adding this we need to deploy we need to deploy this entity relationship model so when you deploy it is not deploying this er model it is deploying each and every object if there are any changes happened in these tables or in if you created any new table here we have an option to create a new view also for example if you go to the second option create a view from the selection so when i click on this one it is asking me to provide uh, to create a name provide a name for the new view if i click on okay button mm, yeah there are some changes already i try to do here let me revert those mm. selecting this one and clicking on new create new view click on okay button mm, one second let me come back uh, because i i tried to do some changes now it is uh, not allowing to go further okay i'm adding this one and then i'm trying to create a new view out of this selection so when i click on okay button oh okay two is already available huh? sorry i'm not reading the text properly so let's uh, give view two okay uh, click on okay button so what happened on top of this sales two it is creating a view okay this is the view name so now this view is not yet created it is in a just a early stage whenever i deploy this er model then sap creates this uh, new view and deploy and perform deploy also okay so now as i said if i want to add into you know relation already which are in a relationship to this table click on this plus symbol Yeah, or else click on this plus symbol you will get the pop up not like this so how plus is not working um, and if you want to add this one add it to here automatically it will be mapped into this way and here you can create a new table also 
okay and if you want to do data preview of this particular one you can do it and here impact in linear um, analysis we can talk about this point later okay so what exactly at the end we want to learn here ER model is kind of a data flow diagram where it represents the dependencies between objects if you want to add any new column in the data flow then where and all it may be required you can understand easily and others also can benefit of with your ER model by understanding the dependencies okay and from the ER model itself you can edit any of the table or a view or you can create a new view or you can create a table so how this like you, uh, in the DR, ER model you can perform all these activities but when you deploy it then all these uh, new active new models which you created new entities and uh, whichever changes you done all will be um, saved or deployed when you deploy the ER model but ER model itself doesn't have any deployment mechanism that's what SAP is saying if you see the last point here in the ER model itself is not deployed and does not have a deployment status okay so newly created entries are deployed for the first time entities that have changed to deployed are redeployed okay as I said like if you do any changes here or if you create any new will be deployed when you when you use this a deploy option in the ER model okay and we cannot schedule and all those kind of options we don't have in the ER model I hope it is clear